Hi, this is Johan Sapin Bharti and we are here at Open Source Summit in Vienna, Austria. And today we have with us once again Anna Jimenez, Product Manager at the Linux Foundation. Anna, it's great to have you back on the show. Hi, thanks for having me here. It's my pleasure. And today we are going to talk about uh, Linux Foundation has announced an intent to form uh, DevRel Foundation. Before we talk about the foundation, I would love to know from you how would you, how would you define DevRel, developer relations? Actually, that is a really good question. Um, there is the, the, the main challenge is that there is not a clear definition of their role. And that is one was one of the motivators of uh, a group of volunteers came into Linux Foundation saying, hey, we need a neutral space, a community driven governance body where all these different dev roles across regions can come together in one space and share collective knowledge. And together came up with this definition. So regarding to your answer, I don't have a question. Uh, I, I don't have an answer yet. Uh, and it's up to the community to figure out. And that is one of the, some of these challenges, aside from uh, metrics and um, demonstrating the business value, for instance, that has been gravitated around this idea because we're still in its infancy and it's an intent to form. Um, and yeah, that's, that's an open question still. And when we look at, you know, in past also, there are a lot of announcements where Linux Foundation announces, you know, intent to form a foundation after a couple of months or weeks, the foundation comes to exist. Uh, can you talk about the process, you know, how does, like, what does intent mean and how, what is the process that will lead to the actual foundation? Absolutely. So the thing is that, DevRels, I've been a DevRel uh, in, in my past career as Okay, well. so now my question, if you have been a DevRel, what was that role? Because that can answer the question. Yeah, so actually in my, in my past uh, job, I was at a software development analytics firm. So it was more like getting in touch with the community, building uh, or contributing to an open source project that you might heard of, Chaos, that is also a Linux Foundation project and had Grimoire Lab and Augur. So trying to get involved in, in that community and, and it was more like from open source path of a DevRel. But you know, my story, my DevRel story is completely different to other DevRel stories. And that is the tricky thing. Um, there is no consensus um, and there is a feel like this need of building best practices. But to build these best practices, we still, we need to engage with the community. We need to ask them, what are we, what are we missing as a collective? How can we uh, uh, agree on challenges? How can we define challenges? And from there, uh, start defining, okay, uh, where are the ambassadors or where are these uh, people that can lead certain uh, working groups or s uh, interest groups uh, to start getting actual work done. So that is like the ideal process, but it's still, it, this is a community driven, and I'm, I'm gonna repeat it a lot. Uh, this is, a, it, 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 it has been established as a LF community project, non-funded, involved, no sponsors. We want this to be by the community and for the community. And for that, we are having community calls, uh, open to everyone uh, to come up and discuss these challenges that we are grouping together to see what can we do. We have a series of phases that has been developed as a proposal by one of our community members and volunteers trying to steer this initiative. And I think that's going to be a nice initial step to get some uh, next steps on how to better leverage those working groups. Now let's talk about what does the process look like from the intent to the foundation. We are trying to get a lot of input. Um, we want to make informed decisions and, and, and say, okay, the community, the people have served their voice and these are the challenges that they want to prioritize and uh, these are the how uh, they feel to, to track of them. So for that, we have an open survey. Uh, we have community calls as well, where people, DevRel practitioners, community managers, or 
every person that feels like even though their official role is not their role but is similar or they feel like the, the kind of skills or activities they're performing are really attached to their real, uh, values, uh, to serve their voice, to get involved uh, and, and help us define what the community needs. And what is more important, how can we leverage and connect all the different DevRel communities across the world that exist um, together uh, in a neutral space? I'm um, really um, highlighting this because, for instance, I came from Spain. In the past, I created with a, um, a bunch more people a local DevRel community in Spain. And I'm really looking forward to help those connections because that community has grown and has done a lot of nice work around DevRel education. So how can we highlight their work? How can they, how can they uh, take those resources and leverage towards the foundation? That's another interesting topic. So coming back to the question, we're still in getting feedback, getting input. Uh, to later define what's next. And, and, and uh, one of the community members, uh, they, they just uh, serve some uh, faces proposal for people feel comfortable of, okay, we are now in the getting feedback phase. What is the next phase? And what is the next phase? There, there should be a lightweight process of governance model, even though we don't want to be very strict or that is the desire of the community right now. but. Um, how, how to get these conversations started. So. You said that this foundation will be more or less like for the community, by the community. So how different is it going to be from other Linux Foundation foundations? Because Linux Foundation is a foundation of foundations. Yeah. Um, actually, I want to say we, we've got these kind of questions uh, in, in past community calls and we develop like a frequently asked questions document where people can check out because that, that was one, one nice question. And um, one of the things is that this project has been established in Linux Foundation as a community project. So it's non-funded, no sponsors involved. There are supporters. There are individuals and there are organizations supporting, but there are not financial commitment. Uh, and the reason of that is that we want this to be a community driven and especially in the early stages, uh, this, this base ground, uh, having the community to, to define and to raise their voice and to have voice there. Why do you think that Linux Foundation is a good place or why why DevRel Foundation is a good place for Linux Foundation at the same time, why Linux Foundation is interested in such a foundation? So here I'm speaking for the voices of those people that reach out to us uh, and that share like why they wanted to, to uh, be hosted by, by, by Linux Foundation. So in, in the past, uh, there has been so many communities of DevRel and there are still the great DevRel communities like Open Collective, uh, the Spanish one that I'm part of is Debra Coneñe and so on. But all these uh, communities are either uh, sometimes uh, small or uh, they just uh, exclusive or governed by certain organizations. And I feel they wanted to have one single place, one neutral space, community governed space. Um, where not just one company can uh, take control. And, and that's why they moved to an open source foundation uh, instead of doing in, in another path. Um, but yeah, that, that was the, some of the reasons or the reasoning uh, they shared on, on the challenges they were facing when it came to serving resources and serving frameworks, glossary around the world. So having a place that leverages that and, not, and also that talks not only with DevRel peers, but also with the stakeholders. That was another thing that all these communities, they were DevRel talking with DevRel, which is great, but how can these DevRel connect with the rest of entities, teams in the organization? Because this lack of um, 
communications and uh, to demonstrate their value as a business influencer was also a really big challenge. Uh, all this information is taken from previous reports and studies from uh, Devrel, the state of Devrel uh, report, and also uh, from those preliminary uh, um, insights from this survey that we are asking people to fill out to see what, what are the, the challenges and what do you want to prioritize in this foundation. In addition to getting access you know, across it, do you also feel that, like, just the way Linux Foundation is doing a lot of work on OSPOs, and even OSPOs definition is not defined, you know, every OSPO is different, same as the case with Devrel. Does this also address to where a lot of organizations, they don't have Devrel roles? So it can also explore that why our organization should have Devrel roles, just the way OSPOs, they play a different role. Devrel can also act as a bridge between internal developer, external developer, and as you said, you know, it should be more than just a bubble. Yeah, actually, uh, a few folks from the community that has been engaging in the group has been joining this DevRel Foundation initial stage aiming to bridge this connection. Uh, it's still open discussion, but it's true that you mentioned it, and not only you, already there are OSPO folks that they are either reporting to DevRel programs or they have close connection with DevRel. They are like, oh, this is really interesting to have these connections and, and strength this. And yes, DevRel Foundation is also built as a best practice collaborative project the same way that Tudu Group has been operating or FinOps, that is another, another project also hosted under LF. It's very early stage, you no, know, it's only intent, but how folks can get involved, what, what resources that are available to them, who should they reach out to? We have a wiki right now in groups. We have a, just a, a groups IO mailing list, community mailing list. So if you go to dev-rel.org, it will direct you to this wiki and it tells more about the foundation, the frequently asked questions. There is a survey this survey to uh, community engagement survey to know how would you like to get involved in the foundation? Uh, what is your role? Uh, any feedback you have? Uh, so, because there, there might be people that wants to become, I don't know, more local ambassadors, other uh, trying to save the policies and processes, other community managers. So, I feel like the first step will be that, and the second, join the Discord channel where the community gathers together and we announce the next community calls. We have two bi-weekly community calls, one happening APAC and EMEA friendly time zone, and the other in AMR time zone. Now let's flip the script and I asked about you know, how people can get involved who are interested. What about the folks who don't even know whether they should have DevRel, folks who don't know, how to show them the value that they should get involved? Phil, that is an open question. And still, it's, it's up to the community to see where are the best touch points, the best channels uh, to onboard this kind of, th these people and to feel welcome and to become this community a diverse and inclusive um, channel uh, where not just DevRels, but people willing to learn about how to get involved in DevRel and people engaging with their roles across organizations can uh, gather together. And looking at your own, as you said, role as DevRel in the previous, you know, uh, your career path, uh, what, what message you have, you know, or from the perspective of foundation that why they should be interested in investing in DevRel kind of roles and uh, you know kind of cultural change why if if i can i think i'm gonna share my personal perspective based on my role so in spain the dev role definition it's not not always is understood i would have loved to have to have had in the past this kind of dev role foundation where i can go and ask um, how, how can I leverage my career path? How can I present to other organizations to show my value? 
uh, I would have loved to have some kind of glossary that I can point to other organizations so the organizations have less a, a common language when asking for their both kinds of jobs. They understand what they are providing. So I feel like this kind of foundation is it's a nice place where this can happen, where young, uh, th th this young generation or, or all the generation as well can start their several careers, their several paths, and and have this common definition uh, for for their future careers too. Does it make more sense, or is it really important if you are engaging in the open source? having OSPO, depending on the size of the organization, or having a DEVRI role does help in, once again, as you said, building the bridges because you are consuming software, you are contributing to the software. So having these roles remove a lot of friction, you, your teams better understand, you show a lot of business. So does it really make sense a lot for all those companies who are involved with open source to also look at this foundation? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the open source that well, that uh, I will consider myself this open source I've in the past too. As it's, if, if there is a person doing that, they should definitely get involved there. Um, there, will, it's, there is an essence of DevRel that is about educating developers. And it can be internal developers in the organizations to open source. That links a lot to the OSPO role of edu internal education to get people ready to engage with open source. In fact, there's a lot of DevRel's inside the OSPO. So, but I mean, like this kind of education, because DevRel is also a big part of, is around educating developers, internal or in external in the open source communities. I feel like, yes, of course, um, it's, it, it would be great to have this common language. Uh, and in the future, maybe they can alternate in, in because open source is so integrated in software development that it, it will be open source and non-open source. It will be for the industry strategic goals. And some pieces will be open source, some others won't be. Uh, but the DevRel Foundation should be, I, I feel like it can be a great place for everyone to connect and to, uh, yeah, and to build this path together. When we look at OSPO and when we look at DevRel, it may seem that their roles may overlap you know, at some point, you know. But on the other hand, it may look like OSPOs are more like C-level, board-level role, whereas DevRel can be seen as more as a grassroots-related developer role. How do you see that? Or you're like, it's too early because we're still trying to define OSPO. Or you see some overlap where you're interacting, OSPOs come out to talk about DevRel, and DevRel folks come out. It may actually feed each other, right? DevRel may help build an OSPO office, or OSPOs may set up uh, DevRel uh, roles. Yeah, um, so actually, there are some OSPOs that I've talked to that DevRel is higher position and vice versa. Uh, and in, in Tudor Group, we always say, your OSPO is not my OSPO. Maybe in the DevRel Foundation, we will start to say, your DevRel is not my DevRel, right? So we, we cannot make a confirmation. We, we're still trying to figure out. But definitely, it shouldn't be like a dictated thing. It will not but be OSPO versus, versus, it will be the OSPO and, you know, it will complement each other. Yeah, and, and there might be DevRels working within the OSPO or DevRels collaborating with the OSPO. Um, I feel like having that, like how it should be structured, shouldn't be uh, defined because there will be different use cases. Maybe having those use cases open, the same that we are doing in Tudor, right? Like we, we ask organizations having an OSPO, share your, your story. And as many stories we can have, you can see like all the diversity depending on the industry, depending on if it's a, it's a public administration or an, a, a regulatory industry or a software industry, you will see that the OSPOs are so different. But people can see because it's open and, and look at how this is structured. Maybe, and this is just like my personal aspirations, not, not talking uh, for the community here, but maybe this kind of uh, sharing use cases, their real use cases, can be a, a, another cool 
outcome to, to do in the future. And I, once again, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about this uh, upcoming foundation. And once the foundation is formed, I would love to have you back on the show so that we can talk about the definition and the progress. But I really appreciate your time to thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much.